Hey guys, what's going on? This is GG O'Reilly, and uh, welcome back to this episode. So, um, I got a request, um, so I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to try a little bit more voiceover with music in the background, and you guys can tell me if you guys like it or not. So, to begin, we're going to put the roof on the house, because I'm not going to be someone who doesn't have a roof on their house for six months. And yes, I know I did the roof slightly weird. Um, in terms of I had left a too wide overhang on one side, but not on the other. It's what I decided. Um, so, this house is not going to be our permanent place to live. It'll be our permanent ground home. But, I've got a plan to do a series of islands to replace this. Um, and so the islands will come in and replace this and we'll just leave this here because this will have some use like if I die I don't really want to have to um, I have to try and find a way to get up to it okay so um, let me open up what my ideas were um, so I've got kind of three ideas going right now um, one of them is a center island with um, four other islands around it, kind of like in a plus shape. So we've got like our home center island, a processing island, a power island, and a storage island. And then kind of in those corners, uh, like if it's a 9 by 9 grid, in those corners we've got farms. So a tree farm, some crop farms, an animal farm. That's one idea I have. Another idea I have is for basically three islands, a main home slash storage, a power and a processing, and then again three farms. But this time, instead of being laid out uh, like a big kind of grid, this is like a W. So we've got like three kind or three big islands, um, but they're off center from each other with two small with a smaller one in between and then two smaller ones filling in. Um, and so I've looked at I'm looking at and thinking about different variations of it. I have an example of that that I've tried in a creative world that I use for testing. Um, so I'm thinking about that. Uh, as for mods, after this episode, I added in, after filming this episode, this is episode three, I filmed this like a week ago, inevitably when this comes up, I think it'll be up uh, uh, January, or I'm sorry, February 24th will be when this is up. So maybe I'll have added in a few more mods, but for now, let me just pull them up. I don't need to click. Okay. Mods, the newest mods. Okay, Pam's Harvest Craft is now in, and Iron Furnaces are two new mods. Uh, Pam's Harvest Craft just came out with version two. So, as uh, the newer editions of Pam's Harvest Craft come out, I'll add them in. Um, that's the reason why I have cooking with blockheads, is because I thought Pam's Harvest Craft was fully out for 1.14, but it isn't, so uh, there isn't. I haven't yet tried to put it back up on Twitch. If I do put it on Twitch, I'll leave it in the description below. Um, so now let's see. Yeah, so we just finished up the roof. And uh, I guess I'm going to build tools. So I guess I didn't give you guys a full overview of what's going to happen in this episode. Uh, we got two or three different things going on. We finished up the roof of the house. And then we're going to go mining. Yeah, we spent a big chunk of this time mining. So, there isn't a huge amount to say about the mining section, um, but I'll actually catch you guys at the end of this episode.
guys had fun watching me mining, so I'm just gonna get set up our machines that we made earlier. And uh, we're gonna build a few more, and the uh, basements are gonna come together. Um, yes, I finally have redstone. Uh, I'm sure you guys saw that earlier. But uh, a big issue for me, or, and why these are currently arranged the way they do, is because I didn't have any redstone to make cable. So, I'm trying to make that redstone alloy to get us some cable. Okay, so, I guess the end of this episode is mostly just going to be ore processing. Um, I got an okay haul. I still haven't found any diamonds, which is weird given that I've been at fairly low levels and still haven't found any, but hmm. sometimes that's your luck. I'll end up uh, going pretty heavily mining in the uh, next one, unfortunately. So if mining isn't your gig, sorry, the next two are going to be annoying. But hopefully then after that, given that I have uh, computer craft, I'll make some turtles and uh, we can go shove turtles down to the mine. And turtles can go mine for us. So I'm just kind of seeing what ores I need to process right now to get myself some of the newer um, machines. Because I'm annoyed of having everything. So yeah, we're going to kind of have a basic base set up on the ground. And then we'll get, and then once this is done, we'll start a big, probably be like an episode or two of me setting stuff up to get a ton of materials collected so that we can have uh, enough materials to build our island. Because like, even if these islands are only like 20 by 20, or 25, probably the main island's probably going to be something like 30 by 30, roughly. Um, you end up needing like... I'm gonna guess we're gonna need at least two entire barrels of stone. Um, so it's not exactly something you can just rush into. And I wasn't gonna be like, oh, here, we're living out of a little hobbit hole. And uh, I also don't like the style that like Dyer does, where he's like, look, we're gonna live out of this nine by nine. I wanted something slightly nicer than a nine by nine. This is what I came up with. Um, you guys can love it, you guys can hate it. I'm probably going to go with something like this on, this will probably be like my farm style, uh, will be kind of dark, uh, mostly wood on the farms and cobblestone mixed with a little bit of stone brick. That would probably be what I'd expect on the farms, but I think my hub and processing, I'm going to try and make it a little bit fancier and nicer, so we'll see how those go. And, uh, yeah, I've got, so in addition to this series, I've got a thing I'm going to do, well, I will finally finish up my desktop video now that it's complete. So Nighthawk 2.0, ironically I didn't make a video about that when I first built it, but it summarizes it in that. That's going to be a pretty long piece, I guess 20 to 30 minutes, and uh, probably 25. And then I've got, I think I'm going to do, darn it, I keep hitting the mic, I think I'm going to do review of my uh, laptop. It's a great laptop uh, for the money and they're about 450 bucks plus I spent an extra hundred dollars on upgrades. Should be really what I recommend here because HP is just horrible with like oh look here's a 200 gig SSD for an extra thousand dollars. You're like what are you doing? So yeah I'll have a review of the uh, HP ProBook G uh, 445R Gen 6, which is my daily driver laptop. And then to close that out, my other video that will come out will be my Canon SL2 slash SL3 review. I have the SL2, but most of it still applies to the SL3. So I'll put that out. And yeah, so those are some of the videos I have coming up. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one.